Hey guys, I'm Sarah. Every week I comb through hundreds of DIY videos preparing projects for a weekly maker show, Maker Break. Now along the way I find some good ones and I find some great ones. And right now, I'm gonna share them with you. This is Sarah's top five DIY Mother's Day gifts. Because guys, Mother's Day is this Sunday. Don't forget. All right, let's get started with number five. Sam the DIY Huntress has a three tool cutting board project that is absolutely gorgeous and does not require you to have a planer or a jointer. That's right, she made this as simple as possible without sacrificing any functionality or beauty. She used a couple different types of wood to give her cutting board some added character, but if you only have one species of wood to work with, that's totally fine. If this is a project that you're going to make and since it does not require a planer, just be prepared for days of sanding. But I promise you, the outcome is totally worth it. Living to DIY with Rachel Metz is number four. This project would be perfect for any mom with a green thumb. Rachel made a pair of matching DIY concrete and wooden stand planters. These are simple but do take a bit of time because the quickcrete needs to set. So make sure you account for that before you start. Once both of the planters were set, she got them removed from the plastic buckets. She traced out the bottom of the planter onto the plywood so that she would have an exact dimension for her stand. After adding a couple dowel rods to the bottom and some outdoor friendly finish, these were ready for flowers. All right, up next is number three. Tamar from 3x3 Custom made a stackable salt cup display out of scrap wood and some brass. She was inspired by a marble version that she purchased a few years before and was challenging herself to make one completely without a lathe. So she used a three inch hole saw for the circle cuts and then she used a Forstner bit to carve out the middle of the cups. Next she used a routing table to cut a rivet into the bottom of the cup so that she could nestle them inside of each other, making them stackable. She made the little brass lid and then sanded down the edges until it was smooth to touch. This is such a cute custom gift that would really come to handy, especially if the person you're gifting loves to cook. Number two is Anna White. Anna made this super simple wine crate that doubles as a serving tray for around only $15. Well, $15 before you add in the wine that is, and of course you should add the wine. Plus, if you use scrap wood, it would make the materials a little bit cheaper. Even if you are not a skilled woodworker, you can totally tackle this project. Anna used a 1x8 board and a 1x3 board and cut them down into several different lengths. Anna used a jigsaw to cut out the half circles to support the wine bottles and then she assembled the entire box using wood glue and brad nails. All that was left was to add some stain that was safe to use around food and then handles to make it easier to carry. Finally, coming in at number one is April Wilkerson's rocking chair that would be perfect for any outdoor patio or deck. She said that you can use whatever lumber choice that you want, but she has some western red cedar left over from an earlier build, and she really likes that it's a sturdy material, but also lightweight, so that's what she used. This project needed six 1x6 boards, and she used a template to map out all of the pieces that she would need. After milling up the lumber so that they were all nice and smooth, she cut them down into strips for the slats, and then, creating the perfect template for the actual rocker pieces of the chair, it was finally time to put everything together. I really like this, and I think it turned out beautifully. If you wanna make this for your mama for Mother's Day, you can find April's links for the templates in her video description. Okay, so if you make any of those projects for your wife, for your mom, for just a special mama in your life, I'm sure she will love it. Personally, I'm gonna make a flower planter box to go on the back of my mom's mailbox for her Mother's Day gift. But more importantly, just don't forget to tell your mom, happy Mother's Day, you love her, and that she means the world to you. Because honestly, sometimes us moms forget that, and it's really nice to hear. All right guys, do me a favor and like this video. And if you have not already subscribed to Belts and Boxes, please do that now and click the bell so you don't miss any of our shows that come out during the week. You can catch me every Friday at 5 p.m. for the Power Tool Week in Review with Rob and every Saturday at noon for the next episode of Make or Break. I'll see you then.